I'm looking forward to this. This one's got potential. Speaker, DVD player. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the heck? That's really good. Okay. Man, this box is good right here. This locker's already better. <laughs> There's a uh, dream catcher right there, right? It's kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, 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 yes, that is what I'm talking about right there. Wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure this is silver right here. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I told you guys. Yes. What's that? Huh? 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 That is a neat piece right there. That's a silver piece right there. Let's see what we got here. You ready? Make sure we're in frame because it's got to be perfect. Oh, that's right. Look at this. Guys, this is heavy. Griswold's fantastic. This is a good find right here. There's some money right here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> I thought it felt heavy. All right. What do we got here? Oh, wait, what the heck? Right here. Yeah. Cash box. All right, locker nuts. It's locker time. Actually, it's been locker time because I just finished cleaning out another unit, which is why I'm a sweaty, I'm dirty, I'm a little tired. Okay, I'm I'm actually a lot, I'm not that much tired, all right? I'm a lot tired, but this is a small one. That was a big one. This is gonna be easy. Plus, I'm looking forward to this. This one's got potential. I thought the other one had potential too, but um, didn't turn out the way I planned it to, but mind blown. If you didn't watch the last video, go back and watch that because um, I paid $925 for that locker, but the story on this one just is so uncanny. I mean, really, it, I was tripping out. I was tripping out. But anyways, this is a different one. This is a different owner, different locker. 350 bucks for this one. Look how short it is. Look at this, a shorty. I don't think I've ever bought a shorty before, but let's not judge a book by its cover, even though it's not that tall. It's got a lot of stuff in there. Well, I, it's got some interesting stuff in there. I mean, let me not tell you. Let me show you. Are you ready? It's locker time. Let's go. Okay, I already took the lock off of this. And, oh, what do we see here? Not very much <laughs> because it's got all this stuff in the way. And, well, let me stick the camera in here. Oh, it's dark. Let me not stick the camera in there. Let me get the iPhone because it's got the flash, the light on it. Let's do it that way. But look at this. Yeah, it's it's Saturday here at U-Haul and it is quiet. And the crossroads right here, guys, it's the crossroads. It's quiet. I can't believe, I thought it was gonna be super busy on Saturday. There's only been a couple other people here and I've been here for hours already. I've been here for four hours. I'm surviving on a monster drink, some crystal light and some Reese's and chocolate covered almonds that I found in the locker and they are expired and I don't care. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in and explore. Okay. Huh? Eh. I don't know. What what do I see, guys? You might be asking yourself, what what did you see? To spend 350 bucks on this one. I mean, I see some bathroom supplies and stuff in here. I don't know why, but it just makes me think this is a ladies' locker. So this is kind of interesting right here. It's like leather or something, a leather case. And there's a few boxes in here, right? There's a few boxes. Let's get that out. Alright, so we can see a little better. This thing right here is interesting. It's a rolling rolling case and then we got a crossing sign right here that's that's whatever okay this this right here i thought was a pillar actually I, I yeah it's not a pillar what am i thinking that cannot be a pillar it's just something that's obscuring the, the way here this looks like a shelf unit or something so let's get that out but i just want to give you kind of a peek see in here i don't know why i spent 350 on this guys Honestly, I don't know why I do a lot of things lately. I've been making some kind of terrible purchases. I mean, let's face it. We take gambles, right? Uh, we take chances. Maybe we'll call them chances, not gambles, but it is a gamble. Everything's going so expensive. And I came here today. I had an empty trailer. I'm almost out of videos, locker videos. And I was just in the mood to buy. So I bought three, but I can't say there were any, any that looked great. None that were like amazing, super exciting, but there was none that looked really bad either. A couple didn't sell. If you didn't watch go back a couple of episodes and you'll see the actual auction footage where we bought this but uh, it was a decent auction actually usually they have a lot of garbage at this facility they usually have a lot of no sales i think this time there's only two or three no sales out of 13 which is not bad but even though they didn't sell they didn't look that bad they look kind of decent we've seen some straight up trash here before it wasn't that these ones yeah I, I mean i was hungry 
I don't know. I, I'm not feeling jewelry, but I'm hoping for jewelry. I just, mm, if there's a little bit of jewelry in there, I'm going to be so happy. Let's find out. Table, bins, bin, cart, blah, blah, blah. Ready? Go. Okay, first up. Oh, interesting. It looks, oh, this is drilled out right here. Ooh, that's weird. Usually they cut it like that. This one's been drilled. Hmm, interesting. All right, I got my garbage can too. So let's get in it. Also, another thing I don't think I pointed out. Check this out. It's a metal box right here. Maybe a cash box. Could be. Doubtfully. But there's a nice little shelf. We're a little dark here, guys, because uh, they got a, a section of bulbs that are burned out here. Unfortunately. Huh. Hmm. I just set us up here, but maybe I should move. Oh, oh, this is heavy. This is super heavy. I think that's a good sign. Okay. Cropping style. We've had these before. These bags are pretty good. They're like a hundred bucks brand new. We had found some brand new ones. They're for scrapbooking. And that's what we got right here. That's what we got right here. Scrapbooking galore. Stickers. Look at this. Yeah, this is decent stuff. Uh, we do sell this stuff in our live auctions. Look at all this specialty paper here. Yeah, this is good. And there's a lot. Oh, yeah, this is really good. Okay. 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 More stickers. Oh, these are cool. Find these a lot, too. We sell these in our live auction. Stickers. Those puppy stickers. Oh, this is where some of the weight's coming from. Craft Smart acrylic paint right here. Brand new. This is Tor right home. Maybe they use that one. I don't know. It's heavy. Hmm. It's cool. It's a lot of money here. A lot of money they spent. There's a bunch more stuff. Crafting, crafting, crafting. Glue, sticks, yeah. Stamps, ink, ink pads. Well, actually, there's an ink pad. I don't know if there's a stamp, but... This little punch, Fiskars. It might be, I don't know, a corner punch or something. Yeah, guys, there's so much stuff in here. Like I said, this is really heavy. That thing's busted right there. I'll throw that away. What do got here? Stencils. Or clear stamps, it says clear stamps. Hopefully this isn't too dark over here, guys. It's a bunch of specialty scissors on this side. This is great. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars and stuff right here. Uh, brand new, you know, when they bought it. But secondary market, I think even uh, like easy, cheap at the flea market, cash in hand, probably a hundred bucks. Okay. All right, I'm feeling like a uh, chance of jewelry just went up. Somebody that's got money for scrapbooking has got money for some, you know, discretionary stuff. I like the jewelry. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Okay, pot holders. <laughs> not so much, not so much. It smells clean, though. It smells clean. Hmm. Okay, these are not vintage crocheted blankets. They're placemats. Dang it. Okay. What's that? Is that an old apron? That is an apron, but I don't know if that's old. It's kind of cool. It's got a little lace down there. Nice. It's only like a waist apron though. People use those anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Native Creatures Aboriginal Art Australia. That's a kitchen towel. That's actually kind of cool. I like it. What's this? Hmm. Australian People for Health, Education, and Development Abroad. Training third world workers and refugees. That's pretty cool, but I'd say this one's got kind of stains and stuff on it. Which is not a big deal. Hey, it still works as a kitchen towel, but... These two I'm going to put aside. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Not as exciting. Alright. Next, next, next. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh. Do not crush. Do not crush. Make sure we don't crush it. Speaker, DVD player. Ooh, 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 ooh. Xbox, cords, DVDs. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Oh, that looks kind of nice. This looks nicer. What do we got here, guys? Oh, this is not... Okay, this is not an Xbox 360. This is a... This is something better. Newer. Hmm. But look right here. This is a... Uh, popped out. I didn't crush it, I promise. I have I, mm. Seems like a, there's a cover missing right here too, a plate. This doesn't look so good. Xbox One console, model 1540. This is great. This is great. Okay, wait, that's the bottom, isn't it? Mm-mm, that's the bottom. That's the side. Why does it look busted right there? Oh, man. Come on, work. 
Come on and work. World of Warcraft. Okay, this is, uh, I think, a PC game. Windows, yeah, XP. All right, PC. Naruto, yeah. Naruto sells good. We've had some luck with Naruto stuff, and those are all there. That's a good find. What else we got here? Constitutional Law, PMBR, huh. the real internet. World of Warcraft, Dell computer, okay. Marine Aquarium screensavers, okay. <laughs> I don't know if people use screensavers anymore. Oakland AIDS thing, there's a DVD player, Sony. It's nice, it's a little slim one, slim profile. Okay, what else we got? This is very interesting right here. Very interesting. It's heavy too. It's heavy, man. It's heavy. Okay, this looks like a subwoofer. And it goes like this. Ooh, okay. Roku. Roku subwoofer? Really? It looks nice, too. It's got a little dinged up here. Scratches, but it looks high quality. O-N-N period. O-N-N period. Roku. Interesting. Model 10001570. Huh. That's interesting. Interesting. What does this do, though? I'm familiar with Roku boxes. I'm not familiar with this Roku speaker. I didn't know they made speakers. Hmm. Got some HDMI cords here. Hmm. This is cool. Oh, yes. And this is cool. There's an Xbox controller right there. That's worth a few bucks even if the console doesn't work. But I'm still holding on to hope for that. All right, here. But one of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. One of my favorite movies, anyways. Pulp Fiction. Great movie. Reservoir Dogs. Also, fantastic movie. Whoa, okay, this is interesting. Red Skelton television show. So, guys, if, uh, wow, another, another very weird coincidence because we, when we bought that estate, there's tons of Red Skelton paintings that we picked up. They were hanging on the wall, and I don't know, now we find Red Skelton stuff. Maybe it's not that uncommon, but I don't find it very often. It can't be that common. All right, this stuff is gonna go in here. This stuff's gotta go home. Yeah, if you don't want your stuff crushed, these are great. Cardboard, uh, taking a chance. We'll take Naruto home. Okay. Oh, look at this. Minolta. 20 megapixel. What the heck? That's really good. Okay. It's got power? No. Interesting. So, MN50HD. That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay. I like it. Some mini, this is just regular old cables, but we'll put them aside. Man, this box is good right here. This locker's already better. The, already we found better stuff than the entire last locker. RCA remote. I always put remotes and cords aside in case I find the device that needs it. I won't put these aside. Those are just serial cables. But Assassin's Creed Xbox 360. That might be backwards compatible on that Xbox. I don't know. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Call of Duty Black Ops. Another Xbox 360. And contractor beware, work safety. Okay. All right, good box, good box. Wait, what's this? All right. All right, next. Sewing stuff and weighted blanket. Not as interesting to me as the Xbox, but not bad. Okay. Oh, that is heavy. Weighted blanket is heavy, as advertised. <laughs> as you would expect it to be, but... Yep. That's actually kind of nice. I don't think we'll keep that though. But I, I don't know. I know these can be expensive actually. Weighted blankets. They can be kind of pricey. This is a 10 pound blanket right here. And it, it feels like a 10 pound blanket. I don't know what to do with that just yet. Okay. What else we got? And there's another weighted thing. It's like a sandbag pillow or something. Straps. Wow. It's really uh, bagged up here. Bags and bags. AK, we just reached in there with my hands and those undies got some stains on them. Dang, should have worn me. It said uh, sewing stuff, but it didn't say dirty panties. Okay. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Here's some nice leather right here. Oh yeah, look at all this leather. That's cool. That's actually fake leather right there, but this is real leather. Maybe it's repurposed, I don't know. We brought some leather out to the market, the nice market, the Dianza market. It didn't sell. I didn't even have anyone ask me how much it was, so I'm not sure I'll be, what I'll do with that, but I'm going to put it aside for a minute. There's just an empty tin. It's a lint roller, but it's missing the other part to it. Whoa, what did I stick my hand on? Something's got sewing pins in it. There's some sewing pins. 
Okay. Sewing basket. <laughs> There's a uh, dream catcher right there, right? Legend of the dream catcher. That's cool. We'll put that aside, I guess. It doesn't really go with the sewing stuff. So, is this good sewing stuff? I don't know. It just looks like sewing stuff to me. Just regular old stuff. Nothing special. <laughs> Alright, I think this one's going to go to the flea market. Sometimes we do this stuff in our live auction. That lace is kind of cool though, but uh, not not huge success with it. It doesn't sell for that much money. We don't get like that many people excited about it. So we'll just pass, pass it to the market, let it go quick and cheap. A little wastebasket in their storage locker. That's, that's pretty dedicated. Bloom, it says Bloom. That's kind of nice. Oh, maybe it's, no, nah, I was gonna say maybe it's a planner, but I don't think so, wastebasket. Okay, let's get this one. All right, what do we got? Flex tape. It's almost gone. Oh, that's nice. Mr. Clean uh, erasers, but they're thin ones. I like that. I'm going to keep that. We do use those for cleaning stuff up. What are those? I don't know. Okay, some little light bulbs. That is random. That's cool. Nerf. Oh, a dog's chewed it up, though. Ear mite treatment. Yeah, that's nice. Dice. Ivory Pilot Light Outlet. Wow, that is some old electronics here. Hmm. Okay. We got a dice. We'll keep that. Scissors. They feel pretty nice. I don't see a make on them though. I'll let them go. Candles. Alright. This is kind of nice, but I'll let it go. Okay, what do we got here? Something's poking through. <laughs> Shelves, pictures, household. Brown, oh, whatever that says. Plastic with my stuff. Okay, I see a Raiders jigsaw puzzle. I like that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of neat. Needs batteries. Missing the battery cover, but Day of the Dead uh, figures there. It's kind of neat. Not really neat, but just a little neat. Okay, a little bird cage. Just think it's just decorative, not not really a functional, not really. In China, whatever that is, some kind of pedestal. All right, four shelf si uh, storage system. Wow, right. oh, they really like the skull theme. Welcome, enter at your own risk. Nice little placement. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I don't know. It's tour right here, but. Fandemonium, 1994, definitely does look old. It's almost 30 years old, surprisingly. Metal tray. That's neat. Look at this, paper cutter. That looks old. Whoa. Oh, it's super dull. Still might cut good, but that is a neat looking piece right there. Huh. <laughs> Lamp shades, totally crushed. Okay, that's... Those are some nice coasters. They're little tiles. Hmm. Those are nice too. One dollar. It's a defect. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. It's got a little inlay in there. And some brass. Those are nice. A little ashtray. Now, this right here, guys. I like these things. We find jewelry in these sometimes. Oftentimes. This one's heavy. Oh, 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 yes, that is what I'm talking about right there. Oh, yeah, 349 to go. <laughs> I'm making another, I'm making another bin over here for the Deanza flea market, a little bit nicer flea market. Actually, maybe I'm gonna put that in there too. Why not? I'll let everything else go to Stockton. Thinking putty, that's what it is. Little elephant right here. Well, is he a little chipped up? I think he is. Yeah, a little bit. Sorry, elephant. Hmm. Made in Portugal. Handmade. No. I don't know what that says. A little terracotta or something. It's got a vent in there. It makes me think it goes over a candle or something. I don't know. Put that over here. Okay, back to this. Got sidetracked. Alright, just hair stuff here. Look at these big old hair bands. That's kind of neat. Ouchless. It's a goodie. It's a goodie. It's another dice. A 
That's neat. Well, oh, never <laughs> Marijuana leaf. I think it's a shark glass. Got a lot of Scrabble tiles. Loose. Ooh, what's this? That's nice. Little ring. There we go. What do you guys think? All right, we did find some jewelry in here. What do you know? Oh, this little keychain. That's actually kind of neat. Yeah, that's cool. Keychain. I love these little drawers. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I really do. Face mask. Sticker. Hmm, there's something in here. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Look at that. Wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure this is silver right here. This one, probably not. Probably silver plate, maybe, but this one definitely looks silver. Very, very tiny. I don't know if that's for a toe or for a little kid, but that's a very small. But it's got little piece symbols. That's cool. A couple rings. All right. Not bad. I told you guys. Yes. I mean, most of you know already, but uh, I love these things. What's that? Version 1.0. What? Put your finger in there. What's this doing? Is that my blood pressure or heart rate or something? Interesting. That's cool. I'll put that aside. Electronics. Shooting the uh, <laughs> tiles out the back. Okay. Oh, this is funny. We found one of these before, but it was brass. No touch key. I didn't know what it was. It's for people who are scared to touch anything because of the germies. Rapid response. Some days you just feel like a princess. It's chipped right here. Otherwise, I, I, I might have put that in our in our locker. I mean, in our, in our auction. <laughs> In our locker. Durr. This is, uh, what's this? I think this is Mary J. Juana. But, um, it's empty. I don't know why people keep that stuff. They always keep the containers. A bunch of weird stuff going on here. <laughs> it's a finger splint. Old razor. Yo-yo. Electronic cigarette starter kit. Nice little lighter. Oh, it's busted, though. Look at this. A little pin or a brooch? Ah, the back's broken though. I think it's bent. Hmm. I'll bring it back to Jana and have her look at it though. Maybe we can fix it if it's worth it. There's a little metal dice with some rhinestones in there. That's cool. Oh, it looks like it was a pendant or something. Hmm. Bracelet. <laughs> look at this thing. Oh, that's not part of it. That's a magnet, is what it is. I think it's refrigerator magnet. It's got a magnet on it. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. Crocodile or alligator? You know what this is? This is the lid for a trinket box, actually. That's what the magnet's for. It's not a refrigerator magnet. There's supposed to be a hinge here, I think. This is for a trinket box. Pretty sure, pretty sure. What's this? Hmm. Huh. Is that a piece of fruit sculpted out of lead or something? Or pewter. It's very heavy. Ooh, this is good. Now we're talking. Gosh, I love these things, guys. I love these little boxes. Is it Utica? U-T-I-C-A? That's a vintage knife right there. Pins, metal pins, American flag pin right there. Little belt. Oh, there's another ring. Is that silver? Could be silver. I'll put that aside. A bunch of little metal pins here. A NASCAR pin. Lighter. Another pin, a little hawk. What's this? Jack's car wash. <laughs> That's funny. This is the. Uh, Electronic cigarette starter kit. That's it. sealed, I think. What's that? Huh? 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 You know what that is? No comment. Look at the little tiny bow right there. Cute. Another ring. Don't think that's anything, though. Costume piece. Nothing more, nothing less. Pin. Some more tokens. This is kind of fun stuff, though. Oh, a little horsey pin. Dang. Part of a dollar. Get me all excited there. Clickbait me. Wait, what's this? Oh, another car wash token. Okay. Oh, there's a penny. There's a little skeleton. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? Military Order of the Purple Heart Service Foundation. This is like 10 or something. It's not, it's a souvenir piece. It's nothing. Oh, this is something though. Miss something peak, 1991. There's a little homie. I haven't found those in a while. I'm going to take a second look at this thing. I don't think it's anything. Alright, that was a fun box. Yes, indeed. This is heavy, whatever this is. Okay, brass elephant keychain holder. 
kind of neat. And another brass elephant piece. That is, that's neat. Made in Taiwan, but still it's kind of cool. I think it's cool. So those two things we'll put aside. All right, we'll put those aside. And what will we do with those? I'm not sure. We're going to put them aside and decide later, but those could be pieces that go into our live auction. And a lot of the stuff that I'm sticking in boxes under the table, that stuff we're going to bring home and take a closer look at. And if it's good, it fits what we're looking for. We're going to... Let's look at tore, tore the paint off. Uh, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. They put the tape on, not me. What is this? If it's a... Uh, uh, this is... It's, it's just a frame. If it meets our criteria, we are going to put it in our live auction. In the live auction, guys, we do on whatnot, and we do them on Thursdays. Oh, it's a little dice right there, nothing too impressive, but we're going to do our whatnot shows on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Pacific. Not every Thursday, forever and ever, but a lot of Thursdays, all right? So if it's Thursday and almost 4 p.m. Pacific, then you know it's probably almost time for... Oh, this is funny. Uh, look at this. Fax rolls. Fax for fax machines. Man, I haven't seen a fax machine in forever. I, I'm pretty sure people must still use them, but not very common. I used to use them all the time for my business. Uh, way, 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 way back. Yeah, but whatnots, we're going to do those uh, on Thursdays. And if you guys are, haven't like heard of whatnot before, which would be really surprising, but there's a chance you never heard of whatnot. Oh, here's another key that they drilled out. Wow, so that's three times this has been cut. <sighs> Man, people are funny. Yeah, whatnot is an app for your phone or your tablet, and it's we live stream our auctions there, and that's what it's built for. And it's not just us. Tons of people are live streaming auctions pretty much all the time. <laughs> like 24 hours a day every day of the week and it's it's international it's just an, it's really an incredible thing this is a nice little briefcase right here portfolio case or something it's leather you know that is kind of nice it's a little worn around the edges here but yeah still it's kind of nice though i don't know i'm t debating whether to put it on uh to our nicer market i think i might do that we'll bring it out there what the heck but that's not something we sell on whatnot we but we, the better stuff we will we're gonna put the better stuff on whatnot and auction it everything starts at a dollar and it goes for 20 seconds it's like a really fast auction which makes it a lot of fun if you guys haven't signed up before make sure to use the link in the video and that is going to qualify you to get 15 a, a 15 dollar spending credit for free oh that is a neat piece do you see that i was curious about that one that is way neater than I even thought it was. We'll get to that in a second, but let me finish talking about whatnot. Oh, look at this. Someone drew that. That's beautiful. Wait, no, they didn't. That's out of a <laughs> coloring book or something. <laughs> Never mind. Still beautiful, but um, anyways. Oh, dang, this is all paperwork. As much as I see so far, paperwork. Hmm, I mean, paperwork, okay. That's not too exciting. Let's get to this. So, but back to what I was saying about whatnot, guys. Why is everything falling over in here? I do not know. It didn't seem that poorly packed. That is a neat piece right there. I definitely like that. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's not get too sidetracked though. I tend to get sidetracked. So what I was saying about whatnot is that, yeah, guys, I want you to come visit. I want you to formally invite you to our whatnot auction. And even if it's not just our auction, just to the auction platform itself, because you're going to have a great time. Even if you buy from somebody else, Mother's Day card, bow, uh, bow to the queen, that's funny. Ah, oh, lottery tickets, found them in the last unit too. Kind of a ongoing theme there some letters here oh whoa starbucks cards huh it says load all five with the same amount maybe they scanned it oh we'll have to look at that maybe 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 they never loaded it but anyways guys um yeah use our link you'll get 15 dollars off the first time that you sign up for whatnot and please come to the auctions we're gonna have a great time some of this stuff has been good in this locker this has been a decent one so far um, I mean, at least compared to the last ones, and maybe I've got my, my um, expectations a little low after the last two. But um, don't worry, we have a tons of great stuff that we sell there. We only sell, save our best stuff. Like I said, only the best stuff. There's a little bit of cashola right here, like that. 28 cents. Raiders for life, yeah, baby. And this is kind of neat. I don't know, kind of neat, like a little bit better than this stuff, but... Yeah, we sell some great stuff. There are some great deals to be had. 
and most importantly just a lot of fun a lot of fun when we do them it is a fun time the auctions go for about three hours but um what can i say whatnot has a great platform it makes us uh really just run a smooth auction whoops dropping these rocks hot rocks it says hot rocks um that's nothing i don't think it's like fabric woven in through this chain but there's no clasps on it but there's something a little bit more interesting right here what's this be a little bit more gentle with it okay what's this this is interesting or not nah the clasp on it say it's not gold or anything uh we do have one more way to check i found a magnet in the last locker <laughs> it's right here it's humongous and it's sticking so definitely not gold and since it doesn't have clasp or anything i wouldn't even sell that as a costume piece so whatever throw that back in the box but we do sell a lot of um silver on whatnot tons of silver there's a victoria's secret keychain right there that is kind of cool that would be something we probably would sell on whatnot and there's a honda key matches my truck kind of my truck ski well i'll put that aside we might sell the keychain that'd be something that'd be like something we just start and have fun with like a little you know, a little guy, a little little thing we saw at the beginning. Hope, it's this one says hope. That might be silver. Ooh, there's a mark in there. 925. That's a silver piece right there. A little silver ring. That would definitely be something we would sell on whatnot, perhaps. Yeah, all right. Cool. I mean, eh. Few good things in this thing. I love the, uh, the little cabinet, though. The cabinet's very cool. So yeah, guys, uh, ah, it's a little busted out right here, though. All right, that's just gonna go stock them. That's fine. Heavy. All right, let's see what's in this one. Yeah, we've been doing whatnot since like the beginning of the year, uh, pretty consistently. And we've had so many people just give us like tremendous feedback about how that much fun they've had joining the auctions there. Oh, well look at this. Pillsbury Doughboy clock. That is neat. Oh, by the Danbury Mint, 1999. This is interesting, guys. Now that is cool. Pillsbury Doughboy stuff is is pretty collectible. Doughboy, the Doughboy is getting put aside for sure. For sure. That's cool. Oh, yep, there's another one. Another dollar. Why does that make me so happy? Why do I get so excited about the dollars? I don't know, but I do. <laughs> I do. Some junk in here. That's nice though. A little terracotta. And some wreaths. Greenery home collection. I swear Jenna bought one with these beads on it before. Maybe higher quality than that one, but oh that's nice. Look at this. Starbucks reusable cold cups. That's nice. That's brand new. How much was that? 20 bucks. Okay. Bring that home with me too. The Starbucks cup, that might be something we put on whatnot. Just add vodka, it says. Orange spritzer. Interesting. Okay, a bunch of brand new envelopes here. Hmm. It's, it's like a lighter sleeve. It's got this on there. What's that stuff for? I don't know. It's got some residue in there from something. Oh, and these are rolling papers. <laughs> we'll party in a tin right there. There's another one of those spritzer things. Oh, this one's different. Just add vodka. Bora Bora Paradise. Wow. God, these look kind of expensive, actually. Cocktail infusion mixer. Huh. It's a screen. What's this? Now, what is this? That's like a charcoal right there. Filter or something. What for, though? I don't know what that is. Do you guys know what this is? Seems like that's a torch or something right here. Is this like an old-fashioned lighter? Maybe. It's in the tampon box. That's funny. All right, I'll put that aside. A little bit of jewelry in this one so far, but not the level that we wanted. Swiffer, dry cloth, brand new box. That'll sell. There's a whole bunch of garbage bags right here. And I'd say that's going to definitely sell right there. What's this? Black's Law Dictionary. Uh, what is this? Let's play Pikachu theme deck Pokemon cards. This is not like Pokemon cards that we're looking for. These are like playing cards. What? No, these are Pokemon cards. What the heck? <laughs> I thought they were like just normal playing cards. No, these are Pokemon cards. Okay. Let's play Pikachu 
theme deck. Oh, it's a theme deck. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is actually great. I almost passed right over this thing. I just thought it was playing cards. Yikes. No, right there. Another theme deck. This is good. This is definitely something we would be selling in our whatnot auction right here. All right, this kind of stuff. Yep, Pikachu. And there's a little one of those little counter coins there. And some instruction books, counter, uh, whatever those are, the little markers or whatever. This is great. This is actually really, 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 really good. First time I found Pokemon cards in a short while. Happy, happy about that. This metal. That rose, that's funny. I think it's somebody handmade that. There's another old right? I think it's an old razor. Maybe it's not that old. Maybe they're just meant to look old. Narcan nasal spray. Hmm. Except for like if you're overdosing on something. Some stickers. Here's a rubber tubing. I don't like seeing rubber tubing and, and Narcan in the same box. That makes me a little, a little suspicious. Okay, there's some more Swifter, Swifter cloths, okay. Now this right here, I don't know if these will sell. Is there a value in this thing? Because these look expensive. Okay, I let me show you. I put those Black's Law Dictionary aside because I did look up the values on those and they could be a little valuable. So I think we got the seventh and eighth edition. I got to do a little more research, but yeah, they could be some money on that. What do we got here? Paint and primer, interior flat, bare. That is probably, I mean, it's full. I think that's 50 bucks in paint right here. You know, at the market, maybe 20 or 25 bucks, but I think at the store, that's currently like 50 bucks. I don't know, maybe it's more. It's, the paint's gotten so expensive. Everything's gotten expensive, right? Don't get me started. <laughs> okay. All right, there's some maxi pads. Empty box for a garbage bag. Shower gel, body lotion. Nice little gift pack. More tampons. Okay. Downy Unstoppables in wash scent boosters. That's sealed brand new right there. What's this? Body wash. Ole. Ole, ole. <laughs> I can't help it. All right. There's Ole Regenerous, vitamin C, and peptides. Huh, smells pretty good. Ooh, what's this? Oh my goodness, guys. Come, wait, what's this? That's a phone, I think. Honeywell? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Honeywell? Okay. Oh, okay. This is, uh, yeah. I think there's, I think there's two baskets here, but yeah, there is. Let's do a little transfer. Let's go through the rest of this and then let's get in here. That sounds like jewelry, guys, and I, I don't want to be like, you know, exaggerating or getting crazy excited, but I do say before that these types of bins, the bathroom bins, is where we do often find uh, jewelry. Yep, yep, yep. Alaska Manly Soap. Hmm. What's this? $5 soap right here. Hawaiian Sensations. What's this? Late Milk Soap. Huh. All right, well, I'll put aside some of the soap. I like soap. Skin lotion. Sephora dry clean. Cleaner spray, huh? That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Let's drain. Body lotion. Some nice glasses here. Huh. Lint roller. Big diamonds. Charcoal and vanilla. Bath bomb there. Designer skin angel. Hmm. Hemp seed oil, huh? Ah, that's good right here. Oral-B. Bunch of brand new to to toothbrushes. I'll put that aside. And I'll put that one aside too. There's another Narcan spray right there. I'm going to put it aside. Conditioner. What's this? It's not super... Oh, it says right here, Just Me by Paris Hilton. Oh, it is fragrance. Okay. I'll put that aside. Fragrance is so very, very good. Shea Butter Soap right here. It's good stuff. Oh, look at this. Got a little crystal. That is definitely something we'd sell on whatnot, as well as the Paris Hilton uh, stuff too. Lior Gold Paris Anti Wrinkle Serum. I gotta put that aside. We have to look up some of that stuff. Some of it can be good. Ding Dong Mary on High Spiced Apple Luxury Soap. <laughs> it's brand new. Oh, that smells really good too. Okay, I'll put it aside. I like soap. That's empty. Ah. Oh. Flamingo bandages. 
in the shape of a flamingo. How about that? Actually, I don't have any bandages in my car, for real. Some razors. All right, we just went through all that. I'm not exactly sure why I transferred it. Well, it's just easier that way. It's just easier. That stuff we put aside. This I might put aside. I don't know. I'll ask Jenna about it. You can always sling it back to the market. That will go in my car. Okay, guys. Now, 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 now. Let's see what we got here. You ready? Make sure we're in frame because it's got to be perfect. Yeah. Okay, there is a little bit of jewelry here. Sort of. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Part of a necklace? I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's a little pin right here, brooch of some sort. It's a necklace there. It's just costume stuff. It's not, there's nothing. I haven't seen anything yet to get excited about. It's like mismatched stuff. That one's missing a crystal right there. Otherwise, that'd have been a little bit better. Cuff link. Oh, there's the rest of the necklace. Bonk. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, still, that was in there. And I often say, like, you can find jewelry in these, and this, that is proof that you can. Doesn't mean it's good jewelry, but we did find jewelry. All right. Okay. Okay. What's this stuff? Miracle Grow Garden Feeder. There's some stuff in there. <laughs> There's a hand soap right there. Refill. And Bug Be Gone Insect Killer. And, oh yeah, dish soap right here. Nice. No, that's hand soap. Wait, what? Looks like dish soap. Apple Blossom Scent. That smells good. I'm assuming. Probably. Some of that will bring home. Some of it will let go. I got a few bucks for this stuff. Oh, uh, wait. Okay. I thought it was a kitty litter box. I'm like, oh, but no, it's not. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> nice dress right there. I think it was brand new too. I'll put it aside. A little corset right here. Charlotte Rose or something. Some little lingerie stuffs in here. Just make sure there's no money or anything in here. No. Oh, let's make sure these aren't. Lululemon. Pink yoga. Pink yoga pants. Okay. I'll tell you, this gal was organized. Look at this. She puts the label from this original package. Oh, that's cool. Shelf with the pipes on there. That's actually really cool. Is that what it is, though? Yeah, I think it is. That's neat. You know, I'm going to put that aside. I like it. What's that for? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Got some fishing lures here. These look kind of decent, too. Look at this guy. Hmm. These all look decent to me. Looks like a crawdad. That's good. I'll put that over here. Okay. This sign was swedged in here. That is a cool sign. Railroad crossing. Now, I think this is probably a TV right here. And they just have a whole bunch of stuff behind it. Okay. Yeah, this looks decent. Sony. Okay. Model number KDL-46V5100 LCD color television. It's probably 46 inch. And there's another shelf right there to match the other one. All right, let me get this in the trailer. Okay, wow. We're getting down to it, guys. Okay, look at this. What do we got here? Plunger and bowl brush with Caddy. Brand new coming home <laughs> i think we need a new plunger that's why brand new guys come on don't judge me don't judge me i think that's for paper towels nice jen's probably gonna say no jen's probably gonna say no but i'll bring it home just show her say look it's brand new I promise i promise it's not used not gross okay that will probably go to danza i think it's a little cooler bag and then we got Automatic food vacuum sealer. Okay. NutriChef. I think we found this brand before. <laughs> supersonic. It's supersonic. There's a little cheap monitor. It's so light. Probably sell. Okay, I got this cooler. Nice uh, styrofoam cooler. I don't know if that'll sell. Last time we brought one, I don't think it did. Man, more maxi. Oh my goodness, look at all these maxi pads. What the heck? So many. So many. A shopping bag full of maxi pads almost. I know there's money right there too. Whoops. That was a rough landing. Getting tired, guys. 
I've been here for a, well, let's see, I got here about noon. Six hours, okay. Yep, I've been going strong for six hours. And I'm ready to be done, honestly. I just was hoping to find a jewelry box, but at least we found an Xbox, even if we didn't find a jewelry box. Sunbeam skillet. Or something. Skillet, yeah. Yeah, indoor grill. A couple of candles. Mineral cream. Therapeutic moisturizing. Huh, that is brand new sealed. Water storage bag. Okay. <laughs> Camp shower. Oh, that's right. Look at this. Oh, guys, this is heavy. It's probably a toolbox. It's prob probably a toolbox. All right, let's see what's in here. I almost forgot about it. Wait. It's been uh, tampered with. There's a button that's supposed to be there. Huh. The inside of this is really sharp. I don't want to cut myself. Oh, bummer. We had tons of tools in the last locker. Where's our tools? Mm. I don't want to bend my knife. Bummer. Might have to wait a little bit on that. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> a bunch of cast iron pans. Please be Wagner. Mm, no brand. No brand. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. That's a Griswold. That's fantastic. I don't see a brand on that. That looks older. I mean, Korea on that one. But this one's a Wagner. Wagnerware. 10, 10 and a half inch skillet. Okay. Griswold's fantastic. And it's clean too. This is a relatively clean one. This is a good find right here. There's some money right here. That's definitely going to the better market right here. That we cannot pitch to Stockton. They will not appreciate it. Good find right there. Good find. I, I don't know how much. I think for the good ones, like the Griswold and the Wagner, probably 20 bucks each. Okay. These ones have no label, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch those. Raid Foggers, oh boy. Yeah, those will sell. Those sell in Stockton. Bed Bug and Flea, yep. Light bulbs. Hmm, some Nikes. They're decent little shoes right there. Huh. Shoes just falling out. <laughs> Mismatched. Okay, there's some Nike Maxes. Again, we'll bring them to you. We'll bring those to Danza. They don't really sell that well, though. The, the Nikes, they just don't go crazy for sneakers out there like they do in some markets. And look at these. Jessica Simpson. High heels. <laughs> Linksys cord. Power cord. All right. Oh. All right, guys, getting down to it. Okay, I was gonna say if this is empty, we're done, except for that little box, but uh, it is not empty. It's heavy and, huh, interesting. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, look at this vintage leather briefcase right here. That looks neat. It's got the initials EP on it. I like that. That kind of reminds me of an old doctor's, like, uh, house call thing. Okay, here we got a scale, digital scale right here. Smart heart. Alright, some boots and sh boots are shoved in there. <laughs> I'll put that in there. Okay, this. Whip it. Whip it good. This is for making whipped cream right here. Ooh. Still have a little, little, little bit of whip in there. Okay, this looks nice. Nice little backpack. A little dirty. I think you can run it through the washer though. What's in here? Uh, this is uh, an organizer for your shoes, I think. Hang it in the closet. Universal thread. Yeah, that's decent. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I thought it felt heavy. Check that out. Oh yes. There's tons of change in here. Look at this. What a way to wrap this one up. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah. Look at it all. All right. That's going home and going in my coin bucket. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, when are you going to cash in that coin jar? Well, we will. We will. Don't worry. We will. This, this is a nice little backpack. I'm going to see if any of my girls want it. All right. Let's put that aside. This can go back. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm lit up. Ooh. Vince Camuto and Nikes. Okay. Did she save the best stuff for the back? Possibly. 
possibly. All right, this stuff, summons, got some court paperwork, some stamps there, celebrate forever stamps. All right, what is that, 60 cents each? There's like a few bucks right there, just some stamps, okay. Okay, huh? And this, right here is a part to that shelf system, so we're gonna let that go to the market, okay. All right, what do we got here? Oh, wait, what the heck? It's a Nike box, but they got some Vans in here. And those are snazzy. Those are very cool. Don't think those will fit my girls. Size six, I don't think that'll fit them. Camille's, their feet is about the same size as my feet, so. Um, that's too bad. Too bad. They'll go to the better market, though. Okay, what's this? Mia, size six, huh. Those are kind of decent. Again, with the Nike box, I don't get it. Empty box, okay. <laughs> in the Vince Camus toes. In their INCs in there, okay. There we go. She didn't put her nice stuff in the locker, apparently. Her nice shoes. These, eh. We'll let them go to Stockton. Okay. Yep. And then we got a shelf here. That's a wrap. No, that's not a wrap. What am I saying? I'm getting tired, guys. But we still have a couple things. We got this and this. Ouch, that's weird. Piece of wire sticking out. Okay. Ah, paperwork. And that's where the wire came from. Dang it. <laughs> nice bag though, but this stuff. Okay, oh, got little Raider stickers though. Scrapbooking. All right, I'll go through all this stuff, guys. We'll pull out anything good. I'll let you know if we find anything interesting. There's a phone. Charger cable. Hmm. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, I just have to load and uh, finish it, you know, strapping down the trailer and everything. Uh, but let's do this at home. All right, so we're gonna wrap the video right now and then I'll bring that home and we'll crack it open. I think it's tools, but we'll find out. It could be something better. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think so, but let's find out uh, at home. I'm, I'm actually getting tired and hungry, and I need to get going because my facility closes pretty soon. I need to drop my trailer off. I don't want to park the trailer in front of the house, so uh, let's wrap this. We'll pick up in a few minutes. For you, oh, for you, it'll be right now. All right, guys, I'm back at the house. Oh, that was a long day. I'm actually pretty pooped. I mean, I am tired after lots of days, but today, that was a lot. Two lockers, and I'll tell you, like, it's not that much work, but for me, working by myself, filming slows me down. It is a lot of work. So two lockers in a day, I feel really good about it because today's Saturday. That means tomorrow I can go to church, I can come home, I can work on getting our live auction set up for the week, and um, I don't have too much on my plate. And then Monday, I don't know. I brought home a little stuff from my locker to list on eBay, some more trains. So that's, uh, I might work on that this weekend. My eBay's slowing down again, so I need to get that pumped. But, uh, well, anyways, let's stop talking. Let's get in this right here. Yeah, cash box or toolbox. Whatever it is, let's get in it. And right here, you see, I was just getting ready to list this piece right here. This is um, out of one of the recent tool lockers I got. This right here, Ket, K-E-T-T. -T. This thing sells for like anywhere from 80 to over 200 bucks used. This one's in rough shape, but I think I'm going to list it for maybe 125 It works. I plugged it in. It works great. The high quality saw. It's got this little tiny blade on it. I think it's for cutting hardwood or something. Maybe tile, but I think hardwood. All right, let's see. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, okay. That's the tackle box. Not tools or cash. Tackle. Look at this guy. Wow. So, oh, look at they even got little protectors to go on the hook so you don't hook your finger. Some old reels. There's a pen right there. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. It looks like a little baby duck. <laughs> that's I've never seen that before. Oh, that's funny. And look at when it goes through the water, the little feet move. Hilarious. All right, and wow, look at this dude. It's pretty big. That's for catching some big old fish, I would think. Lawrence, made in the USA. Can't read what that says, but that's cool. 
All right, well, anyways, I was hoping for cash. Doesn't fit the uh, what you would think would be in that box based on the lady and she scrapbooks and stuff. And she's a fisherman, too, apparently. So right on. Good for her. Um, but I think it was good for me, too. That locker was 350 bucks. We're definitely going to make some money out of it. Okay, this one, I'm, I know we're going to definitely make a little bit of money on this one. Where the last one, I really don't know. But this one, I know we're going to make some money. Not big money. All right, we didn't find the big, big finds in that one. But we found enough stuff. I think I took home, like, three totes, black and yellow totes. That's where I was putting the good stuff in the black and yellows, plus the scrapbook box. And then I think there's one bin to go to De Anza. Something like that. I forget. But anyways, not bad. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. And yeah. All three done, uh, about three in one day and all three done. And the trailer's not even full. The trailer is a beast. I'll tell you guys, I've had that trailer for over a year now. I bought it last May. This is July. I've had it for over a year. I'm still getting used to just the how big of an impact that's had on my business and how much my strategy and has changed since getting it. And I remember back like, wow, like even uh, so the last locker I bought, I was saying like, I bought that guy's locker last year. I think I had the old trailer when I did that. And it's so different. You have to take multiple multiple trips sometimes for a big locker uh, to the flea market or to the dump or whatever and wherever it goes. Uh, I don't take stuff to the dump anymore really. Everything goes to the market because I don't have to lighten my load. I can I can just stuff so much stuff in that in that trailer. Uh, really, really makes me more efficient. Less trips to Stockton, more volume each time and that means more sales each time. So yeah, it's good. I like it but um, now I've got the dilemma of okay, I don't have a full trailer but I don't have enough room to buy a big locker so do I want to leave it and only bid on small lockers or or, or do I want to go to the market and unload it knowing that I don't have a full load? I'm probably going to do the latter, but we'll see. All right, we'll see. This is Saturday. I've got till Wednesday to figure that out, and uh, I'm sure we will. So anyways... It was a fun little locker, really. I did like this. This one I like the best of the three. Anyways, guys, I, I don't know. What, which one did you guys like? Comment below. I bought three, and um, this was the last one. So if you watched them, let me know which one you like best. I'm just curious. So all three had their own, like, I don't know, vibe. Um, and all three had a few interesting things. But the second one, probably less interesting things, more story. The, the wow factor on the story behind it was interesting. All right? Like, we'll probably never experience that again. But uh, interesting, as is this business as is lockers, as is our life as storage buyers. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. And until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. We just got here with the manager and already one big surprise. And what's that? what is that surprise? I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm also surprised. Right. You actually have gotten this locker before. Yeah, not that long ago, guys. If you remember, I bought what I call twin lockers. This in this one, I've basically bought the last...